Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing how you can create message box in C++. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let me quickly open code blocks. If you do not have code blocks installed on your system, you can install it by searching for code blocks. Click on the first link, then click on downloads. In the downloads page, just click on download the binary release. Here click on the windows setup package. Here you can download any of this setup package, but I recommend downloading the Ming setup. This will also download the compiler along with it. You can download it either from Foshub or SourceForge. So after downloading, just install it with all the default values. Now we are back to the code blocks editor. Let me quickly create a new project. From this template window, we'll select the Win32 GUI project. Just click on it and then click on go. Click on next. Make sure the frame base is selected. Then click on next again. Then give your project a name. I will simply call it message box. Click on next. Here you can select your compiler. I will go with the default GCC compiler. Then click on finish. Now we are in the code blocks editor window. Let me click on sources and then double click the main.cpp file. Here I will remove everything. So you can start writing from scratch. Let me select everything and then delete. Now we'll write our C++ code. So let me type in hash include and then windows dot h. Then we'll write our main function. So type in int main and the curly braces. Inside this function, we'll simply type in message box and then null or zero as first parameter. Then we'll type in our message that we want to show on the message box. So let me type in, do you want to go for a walk today? Then we'll give our message box a title. So I'll just call it to do and then the message box action button. So I'll just type in message box. Let me select the yes, no, cancel. And then we'll close the function by writing return zero. Now we'll run our code. So just click on build and run. As you can see our message box is showing up. I can move it around and I can also click any of these buttons. Let me click on no and close the command prompt. We can also insert an icon in our message box. So let's select an icon. Let me select the message box question icon. Then I will simply click on build and run. As you can see, the message box has an icon this time. So let me click on yes and close the command prompt. So this is how you can create a message box in C++. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.